It's the Monday morning cup of coffee. You know what time it is. Wakey, wakey. Wipe that sleepy snot out of your eyes. Hoist your mug. Send me a picture of it. I've got my Nashville Symphony mug here. It's actually Beth's. I don't know when she got it. Let's have a sip, shall we? One, two, three. Ah, yes. Kind of dizzy. Been getting the dizzies uh, off and on. I've had Nathan go out and get me some Dramamine at the CVS. I don't know what's coming on. I know I was clearing the back deck of a bunch of rubbish and junk we got to get rid of last week, and, and I got real bad pain in my temples. I was worried I was going to stroke out, and they were going to come home from work and find me keeled over like Elvis in the back deck, except my sweatpants would be pulled up all the way, unlike the king when he was discovered. Uh, I did a story in the East Nashvilleian on the Nashville Symphony. Actually, the Skirmerhorn Center is what the piece was. And um, I, I love the Skirmerhorn Center, but it came off in the article like I didn't. It was actually a column. It was an East of Normal column. Um, I made fun of it a little bit because it's so ornate. It's it's beautiful and hilarious at the same time, and and uh, I compared it to Versailles, uh, this city made of nothing for the purpose of the king to uh, have a small town that he lived in, which was all royalty and all grandeur, and so that's kind of how I saw the Skirmerhorn Center, and boy, did Chuck Allen get some hate mail about that one. Whew. I thought I was going to lose my gig, but he stood up for me like a good managing editor will do. What do you think of the beard? I think it's time it gets a little trim up. I think so. The Biscuits gig... Wednesday night at uh, Grimey's celebrating the release of the uh, Biscuits record on vinyl on Old Boy Records. Um, went great. Six or seven songs, kicked ass. Tommy Meyer couldn't make it, so Joe King of Government Cheese sat in on the drums, and he was terrific. It was a fun time, had by all. The store was packed. It was like old home week. It was really, really took us back to 1992, 93, 94. And of course, it's always a pleasure to see Kimbro. You know, I, I see Will when we do a gig together. Other than that, I don't see him because he's busy as a beaver 14, 16 hours a day, every day. And uh, I frankly wish I could do that. I, uh, I am not a healthy guy. And... Uh, um, you know, my parents, the last 10 to 20 years of their lives, oh, I have a kitty cat here. The last 10 to 20 years of their lives were just miserable. And uh, I'm staring at that kind of quality of life like an ongoing train. Um, this is really an up episode of the Monday Cup of Coffee, isn't it? Anyway, I kind of... You know, I got Nathan going to get me some Dramamine. This is Nova, by the way. Um, sandy color, blue eyes. So that uh, reminded Nathan of a uh, supernova somehow. With, no, it reminded him of an oasis. It reminded sandy hair, blue eyes. And this right here is Trixie. You can't hardly see her. She's so black. There you go. Um, and we couldn't get off the computer. We couldn't call the cat champagne supernova, so it got uh, uh, dummy down to Nova. So that's what the male kitty is called, and the female kitty is uh, Trixie, and that's a truncation of some name in Harry Potter. Uh, and, and I don't know which one. Okay, okay, Nova, stop it.
trying to climb over the the laptop which was bent just right no gigs coming up uh, for the next couple of weeks April 1st at Browns Saturday it is uh, 3 p.m. Dan Seymour on the bass we're gonna have a good time I hope you can make it uh, May 26th and the lounge at East Side Bowl on Gallatin Road in Madison Tennessee going to be a good time full band gig there April 15th uh, Tid Balls in Bowling Green full band gig um, wait let me double check these here uh, I could be steering you wrong here uh, let's see Browns April Fool's Day Two Saturdays later, April 15th, is actually Natalie's in Worthington, Ohio, which is a bedroom community of Columbus. Friday, April 21st, is Tidballs in Bowling Green. Um, Friday, May 26th, is the East Side Bowl. And uh, there's other stuff coming up, but I'm not at liberty to say what all of it is. This week... Uh, on Thursday, the calendar says Dr. Clark, and here's the thing. I don't know who Dr. Clark is. I have no freaking clue that uh, that might be something for Beth. Uh, there's a doctor on the schedule once a week, every week, including the bladder exploratory. That's coming up in two weeks. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I get to have Valium, I get to clasp Beth's hand in Lamaze for 45, 60 seconds while he looks around with a camera. Um, how much comedy material can I milk out of a tube up my dick? I mean, it's been the gift that keeps on giving for five years now. Um, and... Uh, Nathan, pardon me a second, I've got to answer Nathan here. He says they can't find drama, he can't find Dramamine at the store. Uh, so I got to write here, Dramamine. Okay, all right, now back to the video. Um, real rough hewn type of video we got today. Uh, Churchill Report, Churchill, Walking with Destiny, 942 pages. Here's the Churchill update. I am on page 538. I am officially over halfway through the book. It is dense reading. It is detailed, but it's very interesting, very illuminating. Got this in the mail the other day. I ordered a new copy of the double CD Best of NRBQ Peekaboo. Been listening to that. I only could find disc two anymore. I couldn't find my disc one, so I bought the whole new set, or so I thought, uh, to uh, replenish my collection. Like I said, I could only find disc two around the house. Disc one was gone. They only sent me one disc. Disc one. Ain't that a kick in the head? Um, that's a song NRBQ should have done. It's, Ain't that a kick in the head? Maybe they did someday. Maybe they did. I don't know. They did a lot of songs. Um, Terry Adams still has a version of NRBQ on the road and making records, and I've heard they're quite good. Haven't seen them. Um, Joey Spompanato has had his share of health troubles, just like I have, and his predates mine by about 10 years. Uh, he used to live in Nashville, and we actually uh, got kind of friendly. I was friends with Joey Spompanato. It was cool. Tom, uh, out of stock here, but they allegedly have it on Nolansville Road. That's what Nathan says, so he's going to go to Nolansville Road and get me some drama mean. Um, what else can I tell you about... Uh, Two notifications from CNN. Let's see. Biden administration says depositors will have access to their money Monday after SVB's 
collapse as a second regional bank in New York failed Sunday. That's not good. When banks fail, it's not good at all. Okay, okay, what is it now? Oh, it's just the phone dinging with the same text message that just happened on the laptop screen. Uh, I can't get any peace. I can't do this video blog here uh, uh, continuously. I keep getting interrupted. Maybe that's the way it's supposed to be. Maybe I should put my hat on and things will smooth out a bit. Maybe I was missing the hat. Uh, oh, Nova's looking at me. She's about to jump on the bed again and climb on top of the computer. Let's see. Well, the computer just quit on me. I'm out of RAM. I had to throw away a few things so I could tape a conclusion to this video. And God knows what key combinations Nova hit with his paws when he was running across the screen earlier. Anyway, don't let the bastards get you down. Unless you and me both pledge to do some push-ups today or something. Get out and walk. Um... Like they say, getting old is not for sissies. Here comes Nova again. I'm out of here. Get off the screen. You got your problem. I got mine too. Let's focus on my It's all about me, babe It's all